I'm building a bench out of some two by fours that I got through the construction sites. Going through the dumpster, they throw out some nice wood. Anyhow, so I've got this bench that I've started. As you can see here, that was a dry fitting test. So now I'm gonna put on at least four coats of a protective coating because this may be outside, probably be under cover, but nonetheless, I'm gonna put on these coats of this Verithane urethane. So we'll see how that goes. It's 90 degrees out, 32% humidity. I've dusted each one of these, cleaned them off, as you can see, with a microfiber rag. The paint, the paint I used was this Sherwin Williams showcase stuff. And I painted this, and that paint's been drying now for about a week. So those are all the details. Of course, as you probably have seen, it comes out white. And I'm going to, you want to stir it, not shake it. And the stick that I stirred to paint for this, hey, we'll see what it looks like. And you don't want to use it straight out of the can. You can help it. Supposedly that contaminates it. So we won't do that. And we want to put on a thin coat. I've not used this product yet, but I did use Hellman's aerosol spray. And I didn't like the results of that. So we'll try this. Again, thin coats. Obviously trying to avoid all drips. Hmm. I'll do the tops first. So I can catch any drips. Very thin. One nice thing about this, I can see the reflection so I can see what I missed. Dries fast. First, like I said, it's 90 degrees out. 32% humidity. Well, that's the first of seven. So I'm gonna go do the rest. And then I'll show you after the seventh one. I'm not getting any bubbles. As I've seen a couple comments where they were getting a lot of bubbles on using a brush 
and the water-based urethane. And I do not see that. Now I'm on my seventh and last piece and it's going on nice. And as you can see, a different shine. This one here I haven't done yet. And these here I've done. And just like in anything, once I started on this, you found better techniques. And that is to do this one side first. With the reflection from the light, you can see what I hit and what I didn't hit. You might wonder, what are these unpainted spots for? Well, that's where I'm going to glue these horizontal pieces to the side pieces, the legs. So I thought maybe unpainted on your thing stick better. And one thing I noticed too, I'm not getting any bubbles. I'm not getting any brush strokes. Looks fine to me. Again, it's not more more is better in this case. The lighter you can go, the better. Well, there you have it, my first coat. Now I'll wait for the two hours that they suggest or tell you. Well, I'm coming up on my, well, I'm just finishing up the fourth and my final coat. And it looks fine, no bubbles. No brush marks. Couldn't decipher much between the second, third, and fourth coats, but they recommend four coats, so and I have plenty. I've got seven two by fours here. They're about four feet long. And I barely used any out of the can. In that same area, I could have gotten away with a pint instead of a quart. I got some, I noticed a little bit of pieces of dirt or sawdust on some of these. But, I'm not building pianos here. Just a two by four bench. Well, that's all right. And it goes on easy. And I used a full two hours or more to, because they recommend it to dry. And as you can see, pretty easy to put on. With so much left over, what I think I'll do is even put a coat on this OSB that I'm using this workbench. Well, here's the finished product. After four carts of the spar urethane, They look pretty good. Now I didn't sand between the coats at all. Didn't seem like it needed it. No bubbles, no brush marks, no drips. Pretty straightforward. Now we'll just see how long it lasts. Well, that about does it for this project but if you want to see how this all 
comes together and how I'm using this for my bench. I'll have a video of that up pretty soon. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next project. And I'm using this Verisane Spar Ur and I'm using this Spar Urethane water-based semi-gloss.